Let's get started with learning XML that is extensible markup language. It is a tag based language like HTML. So maybe it is called markup language. So it's more like HTML that is tag based but that we can make up our own tags and XML is used for structuring and describing the information. We are using Microsoft Visual Web Development Express Edition. It's giving an error that there is no root tag here. We'll write that. Once we open the file XML document that is blank, it gives the version name as 1.0 and the standard encoding that is UTF-8. You observe that it made up the closing tag for us. That's the use of these tools. Note that we cannot use more than one base tag here that is a root tag. It gives an error with red lines here. Let's see. Let's hover over it. XML documents cannot have multiple root level elements. So just remove it. We have given company names. We'll just randomly display some company names here. It's just for the purpose of demonstration here. Also, let's see how to comment here. It's more like HTML. Whatever you write inside this comment won't be parsed. It's only for human readers, maybe programmers who would be maintaining this or extending the features. I'll save it inside my usual folder inside BAM directory. You need not save it here. For the purpose of maintaining the tutorial documents, I'm saving it here inside XML folder. I'll call it company names. Let me open this file in Internet Explorer and see how it looks. So this is how it looks with a nice collapse and expand key here that is mark. Click on this. Click on click for contracting and expanding. See the difference here, the comment and the original text. So let's see how it looks on Chrome. So Chrome says this XML document isn't associated with any styling information that is any style sheet. This too has collapse and expand key here. So this, let's have these two browsers open so that in the future videos too we shall see how it looks on bro both the browsers. So some of the basic things, these elements cannot start with a number. It should start with an underscore or a letter and continue with letters, one, zero or more letters, digits, period, hyphen or un more or underscores. This is completely legal starting with underscore. We can have period in between like I'll have company dot name that is completely legal or else we could have hyphen here. Also note that we cannot use XML as an element here. Uh, let me see that too. I'll give XML slash xml it should give some errors okay in the future videos in the next video itself i'll show how the display changes completely when we attach a styling information that is style sheet to it stay tuned please watch the next video you'll get some you'll get some more interest and start going with the xml thanks for watching please like it on youtube and share it on facebook and any other places thanks for watching and please visit technotip.com for the notes. Below is the link to download Microsoft Visual Web Studio that is Microsoft Visual Web Tool. So visit the link below. Please like it on YouTube.